Sometimes what happens is you move and you move and you framed him here and he just latches down on your on your hips, on your legs. And he's just following me now and I can't do my recovery. People think really one dimensional on their escapes. They think about moving the hip out or moving the hip in. What we don't think about a lot of times is sitting up because if he's really low on my hips, this angle is not being blocked. Right? This angle is open to sit up. So I sit up and I bring my arm across just like I'm going to do a sit up sweep. And I like to hold the belt or just clamp my arm. But really what I can do if I get a good bridge and put my hands on the mat, a lot of times I can come over the top and roll him from there. So this is a two stage move. One's going to be you come up to rolling like that, and then the other one's going to be to take the back. So here he's way low, he's clamped. I can't do the first one. So here I see that I have the ability here to sit up. In order to sit up, I'm going to kind of have to generate some momentum. I'm going to have to shift a little bit if I can. I'm going to have to reach with this arm, and I'm going to have to pull this arm underneath me to get here. Okay, put me back on my back. As long as I keep this, my elbow under my shoulder, it'd be very difficult for the guy to put you on your back at this point. Now, just depends on his reaction. So, I've got the one where I can bridge now. If he stays where he is, I can probably get that. Okay, usually what's going to happen, he might break his grips on your legs and start to try to push back in. Now we switch the hips back. Give his back, right? So it's like a give and take. He takes away the one move, I switch to something else. So we'll do that real slow. So the first one, this is after you've tried this and you've gotten away here, but instead of giving you what you needed to do the other one, He's latched onto your legs. Sometimes they won't even be holding the legs. Sometimes they'll be just clamped with their elbow in. Just stand real tight and follow. And you go across the mat for like a mile. But here, what I'm looking to do, I'm still framing him. I give a little shift to my hip. And now, I'm going to have to use my foot on the floor too to help me get to here. If you want to grab the belt, you can. But I don't like relying on the gi too much. So you can just clamp your arm. Now we drive, we're going to bridge and just turn and put your hands to the floor. So you're across his body now. Then you can come back and a lot of times you're going to catch this. You just swim back and you're going to catch him with his top arm where it should be and get your head and arm choked.